Well, it's a nice calm day, so the wind isn't affecting everything. I, hello chickens. Hello. Hello. And they always like to say hello, especially the rooster. He keeps his eye on me. And there's my favorite right there. Even the the big one right there. That one. She's really shy. She's called Boo, and she flies across the coop everywhere. She even comes up to me nowadays. And they're busy melting and they're being red hard. Anyways, so what I decided to do, the rashes are here and the carrots are here. And then down the row here, past the carrots, I decided to put another row of carrots in. Uh, should suffice. But what I got here is a raised a bed that I put the tiller on. And a pretty good sized bed. It's about five by 14 feet. And I tilled it up, then I added uh, about four to five inches of compost on top of that. And I um, planted the uh, Brussels sprouts in there so that, um, you know, um, I can have my overwintering feed for my chickens somewhat. I'm gonna put a lot more of these in. This bed right here, it's got some lettuce in it and other stuff that I planted early on. I'm going to take that lettuce that's down here. Let me focus it this way. I forget to use the little focus thing on this thing all the time. This this lettuce right here, I'm just going to go ahead and pot it up and keep it inside. And there's romaine, butter crunch. And I'm going to grow that inside and I'm going to till this bed up. There's some crimson right here. The crimson lettuce didn't really germinate very well. There's another one right there. But it didn't germinate well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these ones inside because the old ones are about ready to expire. And this, this is my session planning for indoors so that I can actually, um, you know, replenish the ones that are in the big six inch pots. Now, this is the potato bed. And what I usually do is I just buy one of them five pound cheapy rust set potatoes every year. And I just let them get eyes on them, the ones that I don't use, and they just start putting eyes on them. And you think, well, oh, well, that one right there doesn't have anything like, this one has stuff popping up, right? And I put two in there because their potatoes are pretty small, and they, one of them may not make it. Well, this one doesn't have anything on it, right? Wrong. Can you see the eye right here? Sorry, getting bit by mosquitoes. So, if you look right here, there's a little eye right there. And there's another eye right here. And so this one has an eye on there too. So, somebody wants treats today. Anyways, so I planted, spaced them apart, probably about a foot apart, which I usually do. And they either have growth like this or they have eyes on them. And this right here is, is sweet potatoes, the white ones that I like. So the white ones, I'm planting those right here, and the sweet potatoes will run. So it will run this way. I'll guide it, I'll guide it through. But um, the sweet potatoes will run this way outwards, and they, they're crawling type of potatoes. So when you plant sweet potatoes, I usually put them on the end of the other potatoes. They get along well. And then those will just run. These sweet potatoes over here will just run out to this area here. Um, these other potatoes won't run. So if you notice I planted it this way, so when it pops up, the bush will come out this way, okay? It's gonna run this way instead of going that way or that way or that way. So you wanna kinda of direct your potatoes to which way you want them. And you know, of course, when you, you got them where you want them, you just cover them up. Yes, you cover up the thing. Same thing with this one right here and so forth, so. You know, it's very simple. <sighs> you ever had a rooster that's a big baby that just wants treats? Well, that's what he does when he wants treats. Can you imagine that? A rooster that's a big baby. Give me a break. So, I'm just covering these all up. This one too. Just gonna go right down the line here. Cover these all up. It's gotten this nice rich compost so I don't really need to add anything to the soil. And uh, just move them out with your hands. 
kind of keep these apart if you can. A little tricky on that one. Same thing's going to be with this one. So I put two of those in there because they're pretty small and if they don't make it, well, one of them doesn't make it, you got the other one to take over, but they'll put out. And then the ones with the eyes, also, again and again, right down to the end. And you really don't have to have this as even as possible because you're not really planting like crop that really needs that. It'll pop up and be just fine. And I'll cover my sweet potatoes. I know everybody doesn't plant them this way, but I do and they always work. So, like I said, Drop has old tricks that he used to use, that he always uses. Like, I, I went to the Walmart and stuff. So, there you go. I planted that already. Wow, that was hard, wasn't it? Actually hauling the five gorilla cart full of compost was probably the best part. But anyways, so it's a five by 14, just like the other one. And then I'll be planting more stuff here, in this one right here. Um, biggest trick I can tell you, when you go down to the store, friends, and you're uh, looking at the seed potatoes, and you're seeing this little bag for almost four bucks for three little potatoes. They're one much bigger than the ones I showed you with I planted two in a hole. That's not gonna get you anything. It's one pound of potatoes can produce up to 10 pounds of potatoes on a seed potato. So one pound of seed potatoes produces 10 pounds. So keep that in mind. If you got five pound bag and you plant that five pound bag, you could get 50 pounds of potatoes. Okay, and that was a little more, that was about five pounds of potatoes in respects. And, um, Right now, I've got my biggest problem is this broody hen over here that won't get off the eggs over there. You see her? She just really won't get off the eggs. And of course, the chickens are happy to see me, of course, because they think they're going to get more treats today. So they line up just like any other animal. If you hear the, the noise and stuff like that, that's trucks hauling cattle and stuff. I'm out in the country, pretty much. But, um, so, now I've got my, uh, I got my entire row of Brussels sprouts that I'm growing. Hopefully I can get some Brussels sprouts off of, but uh, if I don't, at least I'll know they'll grow and stay during the winter with the snow and they can take them, feed them to the chickens, cut off leaves and everything else like it did last year on the ones on the side of the house. So, I... Did a succession planting of another half roll of carrots. And I'll do more, trust me, I'll do more. I don't have to plant radishes because they're already in. And some of them are about that size already. I mean, it's amazing they've already this size. They've grown really quick. I'll probably be harvesting these in about two or three weeks. These radishes right here, unless I can let them go to seed. And then I've got my potato, one of my potato beds in. And Another 5 by 14 row. Then I've got the red potatoes I'm growing over there in the raised bed area in the grow sacks. So if you're wondering what they were begging for, there it is right there. They're, they're begging for the dandelions. Yeah, I give them every day. I pull them all the time on the fence and they are happy with, with these things. And they expect like this like two or three times a day. So probably why they're not eating their food. There's a hawk over here. Um, they looked up, but yeah, this is what they want. This is the treats he was crowing for. Couldn't hold off because he's a big baby, but you know, whatever, they got their needs too. They want stuff, green stuff to eat, just like anybody else. They want to eat good food. So your dandelions are great to feed the chickens. They love them. They're good for you too. You can eat them in a the salad. See, she's over there picking through what she wants. And the rest of them are sitting there pursuing a little bit of grass there on the thing. They, they seem to like seeds and stuff on the ends of stuff. So, there you go. That's what they're up to. That's why he was growing. I want my treats. Give me my treats.
And even though I gave them some treats earlier today, they're still begging. Hopefully you like, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up, and uh, come back and see us all again. Thank you for visiting.